Hello there, and you're back with us on One on One. Even though he's four years short of a century, Mahathir Muhammad is still in excellent condition for someone his age. He can still drive a car and even usher Indonesian President Joko Widodo during the latter's recent state visit. Although it was only a short ride, what was seen between the two heads of state clearly reflects the rapport between Malaysia and Indonesia. Interestingly, Mahathir said that Indonesia under Widodo's leadership has outperformed Malaysia for the very first time. Right. To end on a lighter note, Tun Mahathir, there was a debate in Malaysia quite recently on whether senior citizens are fit to drive. Well, as we know, you drove a proton car with President Joko Widodo in the passenger seat when he visited Malaysia to meet you in 2019. What's your relationship like with President Joko Widodo? Well, we got on very well together. Uh, after that, I visited uh, Jakarta to meet President uh, Jokowi and we had a four-eyed meeting without anybody around. And we discussed so many things that eventually there was no need for a delegation meeting. We had already covered all the areas that are relevant with regard to uh, Malaysia-Indonesia relations. So I, I get along fine with him. And I think he finds uh, that uh, we can communicate with each other very easily. Of course, we speak the same language. That is an advantage. <laughs> yes. So, what new kinds of collaboration or cooperation would you like to see between Malaysia and Indonesia that have not yet happened in the last 64 years of diplomatic relations between the two countries, Tun Mahathir? Well, Indonesia for the first time is actually doing better than Malaysia. He used to be that Malaysia led the ASEAN group uh, in terms of uh, development. But now uh, Malaysia is uh, behind Indonesia. You have got your act together and you are now uh, very active internationally as well as uh, domestically you have got things uh, in their proper places and I think uh, Indonesia uh, has a great chance of leading the ASEAN group again. Uh, before it was because of President Suharto being the uh, eldest uh, member, but now uh, President Jokowi showed uh, the, uh, all the uh, qualities of a good ASEAN leader. Yes, so I, I guess it is one of the leadership values uh, uh, that you applied on a daily basis. What other, other values that we can implement uh, learning from your experience in, in the leading position? Well, I always believe that if ASEAN countries work together, we can make use of this uh, very large market that we make up. We have 600 million people. And if we uh, uh, arrange for close uh, cooperation in the field of industry, for example, uh, we can uh, compete with the North, uh, Northeast Asia countries as well as uh, the rest of the world. So we need to make use of our uh, grouping and the, pop the people in the country so that we can help each other to grow and we can make use of this uh, big market that we have in order to support uh, industries and industrialization. One last question, Tun Mahathir. What are your hopes and dreams that you still want to realize? Well, as far as my country is concerned, I hope that we achieve the objective of becoming a fully developed country. That is for Malaysia. For ASEAN, I think our relations should be 
tighten, clo get close together, and we should make use of all our assets, in particular the population that we have, in order to uh, benefit economically and grow our country. And what about for yourself, Tun Mahathir? For me, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm 96 <laughs> years old. <laughs> I want to retire, but I am available for uh, people who want to uh, get some information on the experience that I had, uh, having been Prime Minister two times. So I, I will, as far as I can, I would be available to uh, the country for, uh, well, uh, advice or uh, opinions that may be useful. Thank you so much. Tun Mahathir Mohamad, it's been a lovely conversation with you. Stay healthy always, Tun. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that was our intimate and friendly one-on-one -on -one conversation with Mahathir Muhammad. For the 96-year-old, age is just a number. It should not become an obstacle to remain productive and continue what you started. In Mahathir's case, he began his political journey some 75 years ago. And to this very day, he refuses to ease up. I'm Muhammad Ahir. Thank you for watching. See Indonesia. See the world, see today.